And we'll pick up the count. Five, four, three, two, one. T minus four minutes and counting. Minus 355. Ground pyros enabled. And once again, we're about three minutes and 20 seconds before liftoff. And Mick, can you tell me what we have left to go in the, in the next three minutes? Yeah, the teams are securing uh, locks and L, uh, LH2, uh, liquid hydrogen uh, uh, tanking there. They'll be finishing that up, uh, getting ready to go internal. You'll hear a call for spacecraft uh, power to internal. They'll be arming their flight termination systems and getting ready for launch, and then uh, bringing the Delta IV heavy launch vehicle onto internal power uh, to... قضية للمناقشة إطلالة شهرية تتناول ما يهم المواطن العربي من قضايا سياسية واقتصادية واجتماعية بالتعاون بين دقيقة و34 ثانية عن انطلاق المركبة الفضائية دقيقة واحدة Status check. Go PSP. Minus 15. Go ignition. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, واحد سفر والآن أجهزة الطرد المركزية تطلق وتقوم بإطلاق المركبة المركبة طرق الصورة البروب نحو المجال الشمسي Thank you. 
booster engines continue to look good in the full thrust mode. The full booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. Continuing to look good right down the middle of the range track. ACS press valve has been opened. ACS pressure. Response looks good. Two minutes, ten seconds in. Strap on boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Full booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. Two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. And launch vehicle is now 33 miles in altitude, 49 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. Three minutes into flight. RS-68A engines in the port and starboard boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. And launch vehicle is now 33 miles in altitude. Three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. Three minutes into flight. RS-68A Trajectory continuing to look good down the middle of the range track. Full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. Approximately two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on all three boosters. Port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode. Core booster continuing in the partial thrust mode. And standing by for a strap-on booster throttle down momentarily. Oh, port and starboard boosters have begun to throttle down. Approximately two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on all three And we have jettison of both strap on boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust. Response looks good. And standing by for a strap on booster throttle down momentarily. Port and starboard boosters have begun to throttle down. And we have jettison of both strap on boosters. Four minutes, 25 seconds into flight. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust. Response looks good. Upper stage lock system has begun boost phase chill down sequence. And one minute remaining in boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Upper stage lock system has begun boost phase chill down sequence. And one minute remaining in boost phase of flight. Five minutes into flight, just over 30 seconds now remaining in first stage, first stage phase of flight. Core booster engine continues to look good in the full thrust mode. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. Five minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Just over 30 seconds now remaining in first stage, first stage phase and of flight. Standing by for core booster throttle down momentarily. Core booster has begun to throttle down. Standing by for Pico. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff standing by for stage step. And we have good indication of stage separation. Ned is deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10. And we have ignition on the RL-10 engine. Engine chamber pressure looks good. And we have good indication of stage separation. Ned is deploying. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. We have pre-start on the RL-10. And we have ignition on the RL-10 engine. Now six minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Engine chamber pressure looks good. And with the boost phase of flight complete, Parker Solar Probe will now continue its journey to the sun. And at 6 minutes 50 seconds into flight,
RL10 chamber pressure looks good. Seeing good responses on the upper stage RCS system. And uh, after a brief review of booster performance, seeing six very close to nominal performance on the booster. And this first burn of the second stage will last approximately 4 minutes 42 seconds. Now 7 minutes 30 seconds into flight. About 3 minutes remaining in the first burn. ففي المرحلة الأولى بعد أربع دقائق وأربعة وأثنين وأربعين دقيقة ستبدأ العملية والآن بقي فقط ثلاث دقائق لبدء دخول المصبار إلى المجال الجوي للشمس. And at 8 minutes 30 seconds into flight, RL-10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Seeing very stable values on the upper stage LOX and LH-2 tanks. ACS storage bottle pressure looks good. And vehicle body rates are very smooth. And at 8 minutes 30 seconds into flight, وبعد ثمان دقائق من عملية من الرحلة من انطلاق المركبة الأمور تبدو جيدة جدا. عملية الانتقال من مجال إلى مجال من مجال جوي إلى مجال جوي آخر تبدو جيدة. بعد تسع دقائق الآن من الانطلاقة. At nine minutes, forty seconds into flight, just under one minute remaining now in the first burn of the second stage. Second stage continuing to perform nominally. RL10 engine performing well. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. At nine minutes, forty seconds into flight. Ten minutes into flight. Just under one minute remaining now in the first part of the second stage. Second stage continuing to perform And about thirty seconds remaining in the first part. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. Vehicle body rates remain smooth. After a minute, forty seconds into flight. Tank pressures look good. And we have Miko. Body rate smoothing out nicely. And now seeing uh, upper stage ACS firings as expected. Now 11 minutes into flight. And we have Miko. And this will be approximately a 13 minute coast duration prior to MES 2. From the Mission now Director Center, I'm joined once again by Alyssa McBeth of United Launch Alliance. For those of you that are watching, we had an on-time liftoff today of the Delta IV heavy rocket. And Alyssa, can you tell me how the launch went? 
Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful launch. Um, just the sound and everything. Oh, it was great. Um, it's looking good so far too. Uh, we saw good separation of the, of the boosters from the main core and the booster from the second stage. Um, just experienced uh, Miko one. Uh, there t there's going to be two burns of the second stage, so that's coming up. The second burn, second engine start, um, and then in just 40, approximately 45 minutes, uh, we'll see payload separation. So everything's looking good so far. Great, and can you tell me a little bit about, about, about your experience working with ULA and, and what it's like to work in a mission like this again? Yeah, um, so I get to I get to work with the, the innards of the rocket, the electronics, the avionics boxes, ordnance, pyrotechnics, all that kind of stuff. So uh, working on a mission like this... Uh, Great, and can you tell me a little bit about, about, about your experience working with ULA and, and what it's like to work in a mission like this again? Yeah, um, so I get to... And at 13 minutes into flight, uh, Delta IV upper stage is continuing the coast period prior to MES-2. Vehicle systems all performing nominally during this coast, seeing periodic thruster firings as expected. Uh, tank pressures and body rates remain stable. And a uh, brief review of the uh, performance from the first burn, seeing a fairly close correlation on uh, major orbital elements. Performance appears to be pretty good. From the Mission Director Center, once again we had an on-time liftoff of the Delta IV Heavy Rocket. On your screen you were seeing a live telemetry view animation of the rocket on its flight path. Uh, so things are looking pretty good at this moment as we're in a, in a coast phase right now. And we'll go back to Marie Lewis for more on NASA's Parker Solar Probe. Marie? All right, thanks, Josh. And I don't know about you, but here in the studio, we could feel the rocket rumble. And I know for our, our folks here on the TV side, that never gets old. Uh, we have Tori standing by now with a very special guest. We've been talking about him the whole show. And Tori, we can't wait to meet him. Please introduce us. Thanks, Marie. I do certainly have a very special guest with me, Dr. Eugene Parker himself. Dr. Parker, you just watched the launch of the mission that bears your name. What was that like? Well, I really have to turn from biting my nails and getting it launched to thinking about all the interesting things which I don't know yet uh, and which will be made clear, I assume, over the next five or six or seven years. Uh, it's a whole new phase and it's going to be fascinating throughout. I'm anticipating that the results will turn up